Hello once again everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 9. This is episode 8. In the last video we used the Hornet Chaser to defeat Splash Woman pretty easily. And today we're going to use her Laser Trident to take out Concrete Man. I hate Concrete Man. I hate his pattern. I hate everything he stands for. And I hate him. Um, I absolutely suck at him. And once I get there you'll see why. I kind of just spam Laser Trident and hope for the best. It usually works out. So hopefully we'll, we will it will today. First in this level we have these birds dropping these rocks, which is reminiscent of the birds that drop the eggs in, I believe, Airman stage? I think it's Airman stage. But these I find a lot easier than the eggs because they don't burst into 10,000 little birdies, which is great. And you also had the guys that were popping out of the holes. If you don't know they're coming, they'll easily kill you. But I knew they were coming so they posed little to no threat. We also have these little guys, which are a staple of the Mega Man series. When you're on the same level as them, they will travel super fast and try to kill you. And when you're not on the same level as them, they kind of just chill out and hang out there. This elephant is the first of three in a series of mini boss fights, which I used to think were hard, but then I realized that I just suck at the game. Um, if you stand right where I stand in this one, you can easily avoid the ball while taking cheap shots at the elephant, and he goes down really fast. The next one is the only one I consider really a challenge, and if and it's only a challenge because of these damn holes that are an instant kill. It has nothing, Well, I guess it has something to do with the elephant, because he can be a pain in the ass if he hits you with a ball into the holes, but overall, not too difficult, and you can get through it really quick. Um, this room is kind of just a demonstration to reveal to you that when the blocks look different, they are not really blocks, so avoid them at all costs. This is, I believe, the checkpoint room, and I missed uh, the screw up there, but that's okay. And as you can see, there's things hidden behind these, another thing that they like to do in Mega Man games. And here's our first instance where we should realize that the block is fake because this guy isn't traveling over it. So obviously something is stopping it from traveling there. Not too hard though, because once you realize that there are invisible blocks, it's really, really, really easy to avoid them. If you stand over here, that cannon has absolutely no way of hitting you, and you can kill that guy before you even come near him. So this room is basically a waste, in my opinion. And this room is practically two, because if you kill this guy by just jumping and shooting at the top of your jump, and then wait for him to get out of the way, you can avoid pretty much everything in this room, with no problems at all. And this is the next new thing in this stage, and it can be a little bit tricky the first time you do it, as you can see, the platforms travel in the way that their arrow is pointing, but by the time you figure them out, they're already done. It goes through really quick. Not the Hornet Chaser, we need the Laser Trident. Now for the thing that's probably going to kick my ass. Concrete Man himself. I hate you! I hate you, Concrete Man. I really cannot stand this boss fight. I just, I suck at it. I'm, there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, as you can see, just spamming, oh my god, I almost died. Spamming the laser trident, it worked out that time. It doesn't always, but I don't, I can't figure out his pattern. Sometimes he charges, sometimes he shoots the concrete block, sometimes he jumps up in the air and stomps, freezing you. I don't know how he indicates it. If anyone wants to let me know, feel free to. I'm just kind of ignorant in the fact. So we defeated Concrete Man, we get a new weapon, and we also picked up something on the ground there. This is the concrete shot. Really useful item, and it'll come in handy in the uh, Wily stage. You just wait to see what it does. It's pretty, pretty awesome. One of my favorite items in Mega Man, in the Mega Man series, to be honest. So we save, and obviously, since that's the last uh, Robot Master, we're gonna have some sort of uh, intermission cutscene here, I bet. And we do. There's that item we found. It's a memory circuit board. Play back his memory to see when he went crazy. I'll put it on the screen. So we get to see what happened exactly. Oh no, it's Wily. What are you trying to say? I'm saying you're all going to end up in the junkyard. Of course, when we're done with our work, that's what happens. It's not just you. Millions of robots all over the world are winding up as piles of junk. You work hard for humans and then they destroy you when you're no longer needed. Doesn't that make you angry? Oh god, what's he up to? Just because you reached some arbitrary expiration date doesn't mean you should be a scrap. You're all still quite useful. You have a right to live. I'm good. I skipped over that. I apologize. Uh, world, how useful you all can still be. I'm going to show the world how useful you all can still be is what I'm assuming he said. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. 
We still want to be of use to people. Can you repair us? Oh god, what is he up to? I'd be glad to. You're in good hands with me. Uh, what a brat that Wily. It was Wily all along. Does it really surprise you, Mega Man? You guys are really ignorant. And here he comes to snatch the memory circuit board. So we have no evidence, right? What a jerk. And thus unlocks the Dr. Wily stages, which are awesome and hard and have incredible music as the as per the norm in this game. Or this series, rather. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.